we all know it's happening. It's real. It's happening now. The droughts, the storms, the floods, the fires, the record heat waves. This is not something we've seen before. There is a wake up call here. There's a reality that has existed for a long time that we have been blind to. This breaks my heart. We shouldn't have to be going through this. It's not our fault. I thought it needed to rain last year. It's, I thought it's just another dry spell and we'd be out of it, but it is more than a dry spell. Harvest was done in Kansas almost by the time it normally started. It was like somebody flipped a switch. And it quit raining, it got warm, and it just stayed that way. Crops are failing. Food prices are rising. Communities are threatened. Our children are at risk. 2015 was the worst wildfire season on record, with more than 10 million acres burned. Because of global warming, mountain snow now melts earlier each year. And when that happens, the ground dries up earlier too. That's... How much do you think has to do with global warming? You can't deny the fact that it's getting warmer and drier. It had over the last century was an extra foot of sea level, largely as a result of climate change. She said, Mommy, hold me, I'm scared. And I did, I held her. And then a wave started coming up over me. I felt the water rising and we went under. And I knew I lost her immediately because I knew she couldn't get up again. I'm a Christian. I'm conservative in many ways. And I also believe that climate change is real. A thermometer is not Republican. A thermometer is not Democrat. Eventually, Miami will be underwater. It's just a matter of when. The sea level is going to rise, and Miami won't be here when it rises. There is no doubt that climate change is a threat to our national security. We all know that human activities are changing the atmosphere in unexpected and in unprecedented ways. If I may use a strong word, I would say that we are at the limits of suicide. This is the painful reality of a world radically altered by climate change. It's not reality TV. Make no mistake, Trump's reckless denial of climate change is dangerous. A threat to your livelihood, your safety, your children, and the prosperity of this nation. All of this with the global warming and the, that, a lot of it's a hoax, it's a hoax. There's no doubt in my mind the damage from Sandy was worse because global warming caused the sea level to be higher. I am not a believer in climate change. We used to have seasons back then, right. and now we don't. We're going to cancel the Paris Climate Agreement. The same people that don't want to believe in that science believe in science when they need to take a pill. And we're getting warmer faster and faster. We're heading into an unknown future like we have never put ourselves in before. Speaking of global warming, where is we need some global warming? It's freezing. We are the first generation to feel the sting of climate change, and we are the last generation that can do something about it. As Americans, we face challenges head on. Our country is ready to tackle the challenge of climate change. Together, we can make America the world's clean energy superpower. I heard you say that you think they're beautiful because of what they symbolize. Yeah, what they represent. The ability to generate electricity without putting carbon in the air. We can run our homes, our cars, our businesses on clean power and create millions of new jobs doing it. Half a billion solar panels across the country in the next four years. And enough renewable energy to power every home in America within the next 10. I'm not going to let anyone take us backward, deny our clean energy future, 
or hand our children a dangerous world destabilized by climate change. Together, we can do this for our future, for our children.